Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Economics course. Today we're going to learn about merit goods. What are merit goods? A merit good is a product the government thinks society is naturally going to underconsume. As a result, they're going to subsidise it so society can have more of it. For example, fruits and vegetables. Naturally, people tend to underconsume them because, well, perhaps from an early age, they don't really think they're nice and they don't like the taste. Therefore, the government is then going to subsidise the production of them so more can be produced and society can have more of it. The consumption of merit goods. People don't consume merit goods because of imperfect information. Now, imperfect information basically means that they're not educated on the benefits of the merit good, so they don't see the point of consuming it. Sticking with our example of fruit, people may not be educated fully to know that fruit is really good for you and good for the body, good for health. So as a result, they don't consume as much of it because they don't perhaps see it as that beneficial to them. As a result, they think, well, fruit may not do that much for me, so I would rather eat perhaps sweets or meat. Consuming merit goods is beneficial for society, so it produces positive externalities in production. So now we're going to look at merit goods on graphs. Here we have a, a um, production, a, no. Here we have a positive consumption uh, externality graph in front of us. We can know this because the marginal social benefit is greater than that of the marginal private benefit. So currently we're operating at point A, but this is a merit good graph and we want to get to MSB. So with this merit good, it's being under consumed. We know this because we are not currently at MSB, or the marginal social benefit, the full benefit we get from consuming these merit goods. So the government will want to shift MPB to become MSB so that society benefits from the merit good. This is done by correcting information failure in one way. So by correcting information failure and perhaps educating the population on the benefits of fruits, we're going to shift point A to point B. And as a result, we're going to reach MSB and this is going to give us a positive externality and therefore welfare gain. We know this because now we're getting more of a benefit shown by the cost and benefit axes. Because this is a good, this is a consumption graph, we are using benefits and CB1 increasing to CB2 is going to give us more benefits. Here are some questions on merit goods. Have a go at answering these questions yourself. Pause the video to give yourself time and hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you got these right, congratulations. I'd advise you to move on to the next video, which will be on demerit goods. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.